Hi and welcome. This is Eric, and today we are going to see how to extract data from SQL database to the data warehouse. So we will use data flow task. We're gonna use our ODB source and ODB destination. On my previous videos, I showed you guys how to load data from a text file or flat file to a data warehouse. So this one is slightly different. No differences. We are getting the data from a, a SQL database and should be the same getting the data from IBM database or getting the data from a, um, Oracle database. So let's go back to our SQL Server Management Studio. Um, we'll be getting the information from test DB database. And the information we'll be pulling it from is from this table here. So we do have a few rows. It's from one to five, I believe. Five. And we do have names. And we'll be loading those uh, all this information here too. Um, to our employees table in test warehouse, test DB warehouse, and we do have records, I think from six to 10. So let's see how to do that. Go back to your Visual Studio. So again, um, this, I created from my previous video, which we are getting data from a, um, a flat file, and this is a flat file source. So I'm going to change this, but, I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new package, okay? But I'll just copy from this one here so that I have this in my records. So I'll go ahead and copy this package and paste that package. So I'm gonna get this exactly the same one with an extension of one. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this and I'm gonna say name and I'm gonna say this is I'm just going to say uh, SQL DB data extraction. The first one was um, flat file data extraction. Okay. So um, if you barely jumped to these videos, please go back and watch my uh, previous video. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this package. And I'll go ahead and double click here. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete um, the source. And now instead of using flat file source, I'm gonna go to other sources and I'll grab my LDB source. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to get employee. And I'm gonna go ahead and configure you see a red X. So I'm going to go ahead and configure. And I'll be hitting um, uh, test DB database. I don't want the warehouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new database. And I'll go ahead and click new. It's not in my list. I'll put a server name. Again, if you don't know what your server name is, watch my previous video. Come back here, select the test DB database, test connection. If you get an error, go back to troubleshoot and make sure uh, your connection succeeded, succeeds. Sorry. I'll click OK. And now I do have my connection, I click OK. And I'm just going to leave everything as is. I'm going to select my table here. We're going to have a couple of tables, but the table we need is uh, employees. And let me double check. Yes, it is employees. Oh, yes, employees. It is a one through five employee IDs. And I'll go to columns, verify my information, click OK. Now the big X has gone. I'm going to drag, make sure it's a blue one to the destination and everything works fine but I'm just gonna go in and double check the mappings and I can see everything is mapped correct. 
again if you don't know about mapping so to do this please watch my previous video so let me double check how many records i have in my test warehouse test db warehouse i'll execute i do have records 6 to 10 so i'm expecting these records here to be loaded here so let's go ahead and execute my package so i right click and execute my package and i get green green and green green i see five rows i'm gonna go ahead and double check i will just go ahead and execute this select statement and i can see records here from uh, one through five have been inserted and i can order by employee id so that i can see number one through ten so again if you don't know how to write an order by or to sort the data or the information please watch my previous video and also how to sort um, data in a table so this ends my video and today i'll show you guys how to extract data from a sql database to a data warehouse thank you very much for watching you're wonderful then